folks, Tempe here. Today is Saturday, May, what is it, 25th, 2013. And I just wanted to come um, and give you guys a quick update. So I finished my first year of school, and I think I have like a 3.7 something. Actually, it'd probably be a 3.9 something or whatever. I got a B in one class. Um, but that's okay. And the reason I got to be in the class is I was super busy. I did a, my very first fashion show, and I'll have some photos up um, for you guys about that one. And also, I did my niece's prom dress, so I'll show you some stuff for that as well. And right now, I'm at Clockwork Alchemy, which is a steampunk convention in San Jose, California. It's part of the Fanami, Fanami, Fanami franchise. And so, um, I signed up to be a vendor and here I am and I'm selling some of my stuff and I'll um, upload some pictures because it's kind of awkward right now to try to get video of it. Like I can show you what it looks like from my perspective but from like a customer's perspective to see everything um, I can give you more video of that later. I'll um, embed it into, in with this one or it might just be its own separate vlog, whatever. So I'm here and um, it's been a long, arduous uh, journey to get here because I had so much other stuff going on. So I've been doing really long hours um, and making making my stuff. And I'm vending pretty much, no pretty much, by myself. Um, so I get to sit here at this table from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Today was the first day doing from 10 to 6. Tomorrow's Sunday I do 10 to 6. And on Monday again, I get to do 10 to um, 3 o'clock. Um, and yesterday I got here at 10, but we didn't open until 12. So it's from until six o'clock again. So I'm very, very tired because I was up until like three o'clock the night before. Um, Cause I'm staying with my bestie in Oakland. So I had to drive from Sacramento to Oakland and I didn't get to Oakland until like three o'clock in the morning cause I was trying to do a whole bunch of last minute stuff. But um, yeah, that's what's going on with me. I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, I really wish my stuff was selling a little bit better than it is, but that's okay because I'm just getting back into the groove. So I figured, you know, there's going to be some downtime and stuff. Um, and what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I have met some really fantastic people. The lady right next to me, she makes this fabulous jewelry, lots of beautiful necklaces and pendants and things. And then the fellow behind me, I don't know if you can see over to the side. Let me show, let me shift just a little bit. Let's make sure I'm shifting in the right direction. Okay, here we go. So you see this black hat right yeah, here? So this gentleman, from what I understand, he makes those hats because he's a professional costumer. I thought that was freaking fantastic. And he lives not that far from me. He looks like in Fair Oaks, which is, you know, like half hour, 45 minutes from where I live in Sacramento. So I'm super excited to be able to connect with him and pick his brain about some fantastic stuff. Um, and But you know what? I can show you guys a little bit of my stuff. Right behind me is my very first corset that I ever made. And I made it for the mannequin at school. And it's a costume corset. It's not functional um, as an undergarment. But I do know how to make those. Um, I'll talk more about my corsets when I talk about my niece's, um, about her prom dress. Because I actually built a corset into her prom dress. Um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this right here, if you turn, in, if I turn the camera this way. So I made, if you turn my little mannequin here, mannequin head. I know, it, she's like super bright. Um, I have some cute little headbands that I made and some, I call them elliptical scarves because I think of it as an ellipsis. People call them infinity, but I'm like, the infinity symbol actually is like an eight horizontal. It's like, so it's not really infinity, it's an ellipsis. When you put them on, it's like an ellipsis. Anyway, I try not to go into that with people. I call them infinity or elliptical scars, and people are like, oh, it's that. So sometimes just have to go with flow. Um, what else? Oh, and then this is one of my actual class projects from my class that I did. I took an accessories class, and we had to make a hat. And so this is what I ended up making. It's on a little headband here. Right? And, oh, I made these. These are my bustles, my bustle skirts. My bustle belts, actually. It's more like a belt. And you tie it and put it on. Actually, I think I have one on now. I don't know if I want to show y'all my, my bum or whatever, but hold on. Let's take a look. Don't look at the rest. Don't don't look at the rest. Can you see it? It's kind of covered up a little bit by my vest, though. Well, let me flip up my vest to show it to you. Okay. Okay, here's a better picture of the bustle belt. This is kind of to see what it looks like. 
even though the light's not great. And this is just like one of the really quick ones I kind of threw together, kind of for myself to wear. But the other ones I make are here are much better finished. So I, you know, roll hand it. Another one. We got about five minutes. And that's it. <laughs> And here's a Wanderer bag <laughs> called them. They're actually reversible, so you can wear them on either side. And they're made out of a knit fabric. Um, oops. And they're made out of knit because it allows it to stretch, but it still has its durability. So I actually have one. The first one I ever made was for myself. And I've made them for friends and family. <laughs> I sold a couple too, but this they stretch out so I use this as my grocery bag as I just need to toss some stuff in a bag and go bag you know like change of shoes or something I have them in here and it stretches and it holds a lot of weight it's really really durable but um so the features are they're reversible and they're launderable you can toss them in a washer just usually not you know high heat dry and straps are super long so no matter how what size you are, you can wear it. So if you um, need a little bit more space, because you know, you got a little bit more curves, you can toss this over your shoulder. But if you need a little less space, you can always undo it, because they're just knotted at the top. So you have the option. Right? And I also wear them around my waist sometimes. Here. So really, if I am wandering like the farmer's market and I'm buying for them, shopping somewhere. And if I want my purse a little more secure, I just have it right here. You can just toss stuff in and have it good to go. And then the weight also, you know, um, you know, I have a, my shoulders and stuff are not in the best of condition in my back. So but my hips can take that weight that my shoulders sometimes can. So that's my wanderer bag. And I also have my I heart bags, which anybody who knows me can read this. So I love pee, because I do. So I make these little cute bags. And laptop sleeve. And what else do I have over here? Oh, I do lots of fingerless gloves, which I think I, you guys have seen me wear those before. And I have some Zaka-inspired bags, Zaka type of patchwork, Japanese patchwork. Oh, and piece de resistance, my spats. These are my pride and joy, my babies. And if you don't know what spats are, look them up. S P A T. What they're used for. I'm sure by looking at it, you can tell. Okay, I'll give you a hint. You wear it below the knee. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. I'll probably give you some more and you know, embed some more videos and stuff. But I just wanted to come real quick and let folks um, know that I am still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and that you'll be getting more um, videos and stuff from me as I continue to do shows and as I continue to make more and more things and as I continue to have more time because I'm not in school and trying to do 15 bazillion other things. So I'll only be doing 14 bazillion things at one time now, or at least for the next couple of months. Okay, um, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Namaste. I hope everyone has a wonderful day or evening wherever you are.